Before we go further, I'd like to cover one issue that I see causing many problems in court for many people. Some people try to go into court stating that they are not the name on the docket or that they did not sign the document because they are not the name as written in uppercase. They try to argue some bullshit about I am a natural person. If they maintain this then the accused did not show up for court and the judge rules in the other party's favor. Yes, I have heard this. There are two types of people. One is natural and one is artificial. Right? Yes. A natural person is a live being with the ability to think and breathe. An artificial person is the corporation generated when you were born. Technically this may be correct because of the way they put your name on documents in all uppercase letters. The artificial person is the one they attach to the court docket is what some people think. Then they try to argue some bullshit that the accused party is not them. For clarity I will call the artificial person as defiction. And the live person we will refer to as the person. Okay? Yes. If a person goes into court and says a signature is not theirs, or that they are not the accused then, the court has the legal authority to put out a warrant for the arrest of Mr. Fiction. If they show you a document, and ask if you signed the document and you say no, and you really did sign the document and you still maintain that it is the signature of Mr. Fiction they will send you to a metal ward for evaluation. Alternatively if they prove it is your signature, then you have lied to the court, and everything you have said can be tossed out under perjury. Both you and the court know that a fiction cannot sign a document or do anything. I would have to wonder if the people making these arguments have not gone nuts. This natural person argument doesn't work so don't go there. Right so a fiction can't sign a document or do anything so it had to be you or if not then the accused did not show up for court and they get arrested. Correct. So if you sign a document under your own name or whatever you are liable. What if you are forced to sign a document under threat or protest? Sign the document is under protest or no consent. Or your signature and then under protest. Remember any contract signed without your consent or under protest is not a valid contract or a signature. Can I get your input on my documents I showed you over lunch? You will see that I wrote to the Attorney General and the Lieutenant Governor General and both said. It is a legal matter with the local court. What this is, is bullshit, as a person goes to someone in charge expecting justice, or at the very least, some help, and they shove it off back onto me to fix with the local court. We don't have a local court, it is the corporation making itself out to be a real court. Right. However if you read the Constitution you will find that you have the right to address your issues with the local government and you tried that. What you have also done was add names to a list of people that could be charged. You may want to consider contacting the local RCMP office in Ottawa to get an investigation going as to the conduct of the court. Once you get that completed you can start a criminal case against the fraudulent bastards using the administrative remedy or a criminal court. If the criminal court fails then you have more names for an even bigger case with the higher courts or through the administrative remedy which we can go over now if you'd like. How does one enforce the rights when the courts don't follow the very laws they are supposed to? Use the administrative remedy. Contact a notary and see if they will issue you an administrative remedy if you do the work. If not have them do it. Serve the guilty people and affidavit with a letter of instruction advising them they have 10 days to rebut the affidavit on a point-by-point -point basis and the order presented with complete and accurate sentences. Any unattributed point will be deemed as accepted as the truth. In 10 days if you haven't gotten a response send them a notice of fault and opportunity to cure and allow 10 more days. If you get no response to this then send them a notice of default. You can then file this into court. Make sure your affidavit has all of the points covered so you can present that to the higher courts. Before you told me that there are two or more types of courts. What court do I use for this application? Yes in this case you don't have a contract with the fraud squad, what you have is them violating 150 plus laws therefore you are needing a criminal court. If however you have them on a contract violation, you would bring them to a civil case. A traffic case however is not really civil nor is it criminal as you did not violate some rule or agreement under civil contract and you did not injure anyone. Do me a favor dear. What would that be? Fight this as it is your right to enjoy your property especially in this case, 
as you were on your own property when you were harassed by the donut flow leasing fraud squad. I intend to. Why do they call you the badger? Because I am cute and sweet until they corner me and then I am mean as hell. You seem sweet to me. I am glad to see someone looking into things and standing up for what is right. Remember if you don't stand up for your rights then you have none. They will take them all away. One other note for viewers. You have the right to bring a friend to court and even have that person represent you for any case that is not over $25,000 in Canada at the time of this video. You can also through a special application sometimes permitted to have your friend act as your agent for cases over $25,000. This may help some people who are not familiar with court procedures or someone who is flustered in court. If your case is over $25,000 you can still bring the friend however they may not be able to act as your agent or speak on your behalf but they can help you locate documents or quietly assist you at the table unless you get prior permission from the court. I know I am on the right track but this crap consumes your life. You are correct however, this is what they want. No one would ever be able to afford a proper defense, and so therefore, many people get hung out to dry by the legal system. If a lawyer was to draft a 63-page affidavit and support it with case law like you have here, it would be a six-figure income on one case. Who could afford that? Right. People need to take the time to stand up for the rights we all have. Remember that the informer and I can only tell you how things are supposed to work and give you ideas. In the end however how you deal with your specific case is entirely up to you. Exactly. We are here to act as a comical but accurate sense of your rights.